everybody and welcome to my life lately. So today I have already filmed my plan with me for tomorrow, which is Sunday the 9th, I believe. So today is the 8th. What, is that right? No, that can't be right. No. Okay. So today is the 6th. Tomorrow is the 7th. Monday is the 8th. Okay. So I've already filmed my plan with me. It's not the best, but it's it's going to have to do for this week and um, next week. We'll see how it goes. Um, there's a lot of things going on in my life. So if you haven't tuned into that plan with me, make sure you do so. So you guys can kind of get an idea of what's going on in my life. I kind of give you guys an example or not example, but I kind of give you guys a little insight of my my personal things going on. Um, but yeah, so... Life happens. I get that. I've been really, really behind on making videos. And the one video that I've been itching to make is my monthly flip through. So for the month of March, I obviously kept up in my planner. So let's let's check it out. Are you guys ready? Because I am. Um, I went ahead and I put this sticker here. This is a Yonkers or yeah, Yonkers Garden. I... Um, frequent there when I was living in my hometown and I actually stopped by again I think it was last week or the week before and I picked up this sticker along with the orchid you guys saw in the intro to this video so that is a little bit new I just kind of stuck it in the pocket there it's not actually on the washi itself because okay. I might end up using it in my next year's planner. We'll see. So I went ahead and I created some highlights. So I, I finally decided to put some things here. And these are just little like sticky notes that I pull or I write something down that needs to go in the monthly spread. I just pulled them from there and then I'll pop them into the monthly. So yep. I need to set those ones out in the monthly as soon as I can. But they're just cut up sticky notes. There's nothing special about them. Okay, so for the month of March, I did continue to use my habit tracker. I've decided for the month of April, I was going to move my my week, you know, that special week us ladies get, onto the very end column. So that way, all of my my things kind of look more, you know, done. Because in the middle, it's just always empty. At least for right now, it is. And... I wanted to keep that way. So I do need to come back here and do my habit check-in up until Saturday today. So I'm a little bit behind on my habits, but no big deal. Um, yeah, this is what the, oh yeah, well, that is what the month, <laughs> month of March ended up looking like. I was doing pretty good up until towards the end and a little bit in the beginning, I was a little bit off on my vitamins and my hydrations, but no big deal. I am back at it again with April, so just see how that one goes. Let's flip over to the monthly spread for the month of March. I'm so close. Right here. Um, I have been failing at updating my video tracker, so that's, that's a fail, but it's okay. Um, overall, this month kind of looks a little bland. I did do a couple extra things in here, like watering. I wrote in when I watered them. So I'm coming up on the next week where I need to water them all again. So I'll probably spend some time throughout the week, next week, watering my plants. Yep. All right. Let's go to the weekly spread. Weekly spreads of March. What did we do? This is April. Well, February. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> this is a little bit chaotic. I am one-handed, you guys. I have a baby on my lap here, and she wants to play. So, yeah. Um, so, we started this week in March. Um, I was doing pretty good at making sure that everything was fill, uh, filled in and looking full it was doing, I was doing great. Sleep tracker was on and milk tracker was on. Everything was doing well. Get into the second week of March and, or like the first, first full week. And I did really good. This was the Sterling Inc. subscription. 
kit that I used for the weekly spread. I was doing really good at my sleep tracker and my milk tracker. Everything is doing well. I mean, I had a little blank spot here, but that's okay. Like everything ended up looking filled out and like I was using it. Along with March 11th through the 17th, this was St. Patty's week. We did pretty good here. I was keeping up on everything. This was also the day that we had the pool party. So that was so, so much fun. The girls had a blast. Kinsey even had a blast because she was swimming along with everybody. And she probably stayed in that water for at least two and a half hours. It was great. Um, I was actually shocked that she stayed that long. Um, I have been extra, extra, extra busy. Um and I've been loving it. It's, it's been good. Um, I've been keeping up on my, my things to do and that's all I can ask for. I did like that I used my green fountain pen ink here from Ferris Wheel Press and I think that looked really cool with the black down here and then my, um, my milk kind of trackers up here. Thought that was fun. I think I did it differently too for this week. This was a Noodler's ink. And then what did I do for this week? Oh, just plain black. Okay. So I had fun with that. Hold on. With the um, fun ink there on the, the middle portion while I'm at work. And then I also did another one with the green ink. And I loved how this one turned out. Except by the end of the week, I started to really, really fail at updating my dailies. Okay. I think this is pretty common for a lot of people. We get excited about the next week coming up that we just kind of forget that we still have a current week that we're planning for. And I did not feel like going back and redoing it. And that's okay. You know, I, I just, it's like, I think by Thursday I was, uh, yeah, no more snow. I'm, I'm, I was over the snow. This was my nail day experience and that was frustrating enough and yeah so this was a, a weird week for me I, I definitely didn't keep up on it I like how it turned out as far as like using the extra monthly kit I thought that was fun and then again with this this week I think this is the last week of March I did the same thing I did pretty decent throughout the week of keeping up on my daily um to, or daily tasks, I guess you could say. And then I dropped off on Saturday and Sunday and we pretty much stayed at my parents' house most of Saturday. So really there wasn't a whole lot for me to fill in. I could put an arrow all the way down. That's probably about all I could do um, because we didn't really do much but hang out at my mom and dad's. Um, so the girls is Grammy and Grampies. And then um, Gage and I stayed up really, 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 really late um, until about 4 a.m. on Sunday. So, yeah, that we just, that's, that was last weekend and I'm still trying to catch myself up from that mess. <laughs> okay, so I think that's going to be it for the weeklies. Let's jump over to my dailies. So, I think it starts here. Oh, that's, yep, okay. So hello March, I used some of the TCMC traffic in Modi or Washi because I, this happened, it started on a Friday. I went and picked up a pizza and I probably sat in traffic for a good hour this day. So it was, it was definitely a crazy day. I also started the month out really well by deleting so, so many videos and photos from my phone I was trying to make space so that I could film or bulk film and have enough room on my phone for that storage so that's what I did on the first day of this month then on March 2 um, which was a Saturday I think oh yeah I filmed a plant video And it turned out really good, I think, uh, for the most part. I, I I think I was a little bit distracted with the amount of noises going on in my video. 
the girls were home and it was just me and the girls. So, yeah. Um, it was, that was something. We got it done though. And then this day I did some more filming, a lot more filming. I got um, to finally open my order from Marshmallow Studio. This was my second order from them. And she does have this one in her shop. She, it was just sold out and I am obsessed with it. You know, the one that I looked at in her shop was, I thought was a white background, but it actually turned out to be the clear and she had sent me that, so it was great. I had a exciting unboxing that day. Um, but yeah, so my, my weekend felt so, so busy. Then Monday, um, oh, I started March 4 out by having a meeting with my manager at the shop that I work at and it was it was rough like I I have actually switched to a shorter time frame for work because I have been unable to make it to work on time. Um I also did get my first plant video up this day, so I filmed it 2 days prior and I Spent a lot of time editing because it it needed um, it needed the editing for it. So, yeah, um, I got my very first plant video out for this year. That was exciting. I was glad I got that done. Um, <sighs> so it's time to reactivate my trusty ninja fingers. Eek! I was so excited. Um, we had a eight-year anniversary sale on this day and I had gotten my order in as quick as I possibly could. I even planned out my pump session at work to literally be perfect so I would be pumping while I was able to shop and not get in trouble for being on my phone. So <laughs> yeah and then Kinsey says data now so that was exciting. Um, yeah that's that was Tuesday. Wednesday um Yep. I I bet I was getting around like five hours of sleep around this time and I was really just losing my mind, but it's okay. Um we tried we tried Aura Gel finally on her gums at night and that seemed to help. Um I stopped using Aura Gel again uh, because I don't want to use it, you know, way too often, but I might have to start that up again because she seems like she is definitely teething now. Like she's very irritable. Like there's just so much, so much going on right now with her. And I think she's getting a temperature, like she's warm, warm. And I, I have this funny feeling that those teeth are breaking through. And that's why she's kind of going through what she's going through at the moment. Um... But yeah, so I made a new meal for dinner tonight. It was a rice chicken bake. So, and then I kind of wrote out how I made that and it was super, super good. It was very oniony, but I think it was really, really good. And then coffee and chaos. So that was my motto for this day. Um, I had many cups of coffee. I even put a packet of hot chocolate into my coffee, which if you guys ever have tried that, it's actually quite good. Um, if you're looking for a really mocha flavored coffee, that, that's how you do it. Um, and yeah, I, I honestly put headphones in this day and I just minded my own business. Um, I finished the work day off strong by calling and getting some appointments scheduled so I can finally finish getting Kalani enrolled in school for the fall. So I was still trying to get a lot done. I mean, look at my to-do list. So I was, I'm feeling it, you guys. <laughs> still feeling it. Um, this day was really exciting. We had our very first date night in probably over a year. I'm not even joking. I think the last time we had a date night, me and just me and my hubby, was when we went to the Dominican Republic last year in February. So... We had a double date night, so we went out with a buddy of his and his buddy's girlfriend or something like that. Um, 
I know his buddy, but I didn't know her. That was like the first time I ever met her. And it was so much fun. The girls stayed with my parents that day for a little bit. And then we picked him up afterwards. And I, we, you know, we headed home. Saturday, um, we did grocery shopping and I made the best dinner I've made in such a long time. I've been really, really enjoying my like really slow cooked meals that take a little bit longer to make. I can't do that during the weekdays, but I can do them on the weekends and I enjoy that because they taste so good. Ah! So I, I definitely talked about my yummy dinner and my little doodle of a I don't even know <laughs> but it was a super late night because I was folding five loads of laundry so two weeks worth of clothes and speed cleaning the house so I got all of the stuff like done this. thank like you this. yeah that was a little grocery that's my marshmallow studio grocery bag I like going groceries I me too I like getting new food at the house too all right, so in this one is Sunday. We lost an hour of sleep. This was our um, spring, spring forward. Yeah, I found a tick on my dog, and that was uh, my heart cannot handle things like that. I just ah, uh, I like wanted to. Yeah, not good. Um, I says I pulled out my planner to film next week's plan with me and once that was done I began writing in my journal since I didn't get to do that yesterday at all yeah so it was kind of just a relaxing catch-up day um, I changed the bunnies cages like it was just finishing up my um, weekly sort of thing sort of things so and of course well it's Monday I used some of the leftover from the weekly kit for this um, so yeah, nothing really too crazy special here. It says I may have spring fever, but I don't want spring fever. Like, I don't want the allergies to go along with it. Um, but I definitely have been like looking at different ways to kind of make the yard more fun, more interesting. I, I don't know. We moved here two years ago, so, or no almost two years ago. It'll be two years this, this year. Um, and we have yet to do any sort of yard work, any sort of like fun, pretty things outside. Like there's nothing going on. We have like a sand pit out front. It's, it's bad. So I want to do some yard work this year. So I was kind of going through, um, things that I want to do for that. Um, made quesadillas for dinner and it ended up being a late night hmm. this day yeah I said tonight I'm deciding to give myself a break from journaling knowing myself I'd come back and fill this in and quickly showered and pulled out my book I've been wanting to finish it but I haven't been de or dedicating any time so I definitely gave myself some hobby time like true hobby time this day and I didn't even I didn't even journal I journaled this much during the day and then I came back you know Wednesday and I rewrote this in to say that you know that's what I did um yeah it says for the last few days I haven't really been keeping up on my daily journaling I feel like I'm having a I'm having to backpedal a little in my in order to try and fill up a page, which also makes my dailies harder to keep up with. Um, yeah. I almost ran out of gas this day on my way to work, but it's okay. We, we made it. <laughs> um, I think, yeah, I know that my order from Coffee Monsters Co. arrived. I can't wait to open all the goodies. Finger cross, fingers crossed I get a chance to do that tonight. Um, so I must have been able to because um, I, w I stuck that there, which I think I'm going to start doing now from this point on. I think I want to stick them right up here, kind of on the days that I was able to open them. But yeah, so I think I had some tea and opened up my package that day. Oh, I like this picture. Yeah. Yesterday, Kinsey turned seven months old, so actually it would have been... 
this day, but I had already filled it out. Um, so I put a little picture of Kinsey here and I tried to doodle a rose because I watched Helen's video and I wouldn't say it was my worst work, but I definitely wouldn't say it's the best. Um, I was doing it with a fountain pen and that was probably my first issue. I should have used like an actual pen, but I didn't feel like getting it out. So that's kind of where we were for that. Um, I did a little, a little, wait. I like this. Oh yeah. No, I think I just put a picture there. I didn't really talk about too much about it because there hasn't been a whole lot of change. She hasn't got her tooth yet. She's still sitting up sort of on her own. She's kind of falling over here and there if I don't watch her. So I really didn't go ahead and do a whole lot for that. Um, forgot it's Friday. That was kind of a nice surprise. Um, it slipped my mind and about halfway through the day, that's when I got excited to get out of work. I was ready to head home. We ended up doing pizza. Yeah, pizza this week. Um, and we watched The Sound of Freedom on this day, which I was... <laughs> I ended up actually, I think, falling asleep and had to rewatch it the next day. Pretty sure, or rewatch what I missed, which I think I only missed like 10 minutes of the movie, but yeah, we rewatched it this day. Um, we ended up having a pool party or a pool party for Rosie's birthday. So we went to an aquatic center sort of thing in my hometown for that. Um, it was Kinsey's very first pool day. She's never been to a pool and she definitely had a blast, as you can see. So we have my sister and her daughter, my other sister and her daughter, and then me and Coco right here, me and Kalani, and me, Gage, and Kinsey right here. It was it's definitely a fun day and I had too many pictures that I couldn't choose which one I liked best. So of course I chose every single one of them that I could and figured out a way to make it look cute. And then this was my dad's birthday, which was also St. Patty's Day. So I was able to get some stuff done because we weren't home on this day. So my normal weekend stuff that kind of goes through both days, I ended up having to do all in one day. So it was just kind of a bit of a normal weekend day. What? Um, um, uh, I like this and that. Okay. Okay. Um, so on March 18, I wrote that today's forecast was snow showers. I was not excited about it. Um, I was dreaming about my garden. So I was kind of going through TikTok videos, watching like people set up their front porch and or front wall, entrance way, whatever you want to call that, um, to get ideas for how I wanted to do our our house because I think that's my goal for this year is to do something a little bit more for the outside of our house because we did not do anything last year mm -hmm. I was way too pregnant to try to be outside for a very long period of time so yeah this was the first day of spring and I had to make that note because we had just had snow the night before or the day before and I kind of went into a rabbit hole um for for yeah, just, it was a mess. Oh, this day, I had a little um, Coffee Monster Co. friend send me some stuff in the mail. It was so sweet. So I had to use some of the little washi she sent me right here. It was so cute. Um, but yeah, so, no, I've been going down a rabbit hole on TikTok. I need to stay away from TikTok. So, um, yeah, I, I've also listed out mosquito repellent plants because I do want to stick those somewhere around our house or around the yard so that way we can kind of get rid of some mosquitoes without having to spray mosquito spray all the time um but yeah so i think oh i was listening to um the book of revelation on um the podcast on spotify um is there flowers I, today? Uh, Is there flowers today? I think um, I was getting into my plenty feels because I was watching some YouTube 
during my pump sessions at work, my my favorite plant YouTubers here. And so then I was thinking about all the things that I need for repotting. So that was kind of there. I was trying to clear my head from all of the loopholes I've been in on TikTok. I, I swear I need to get off that app. Um, and yeah, I got into my Bible again and it was just, it's been good. So those, those were those two days. Um, March 22. Yeah, I woke up to snow covering the ground and my car and it continued to come down all day long. I'm really not enjoying that. Um, Kalani had her doctor's appointment today. She is 43 inches tall and 39 pounds in growing healthy, healthily. I don't think that's even a word. I don't know. It's healthy. <laughs> growing healthy. Yeah, I don't know. Um, and then she got her eyes and her ears checked this day. So I was able to get Kalani um, finally finished, you know, ready for kindergarten. So I'm excited for her for next year. Um this is also the day that I think I didn't have to work. No. Oh yeah, this was the day that the lady messed up my nails and decided to glue nails on top of my nail or my late acrylic. So that was great. Um, yeah, that was that day that I'm remembering. Um, so today I'm working on filming some videos for my planner channel and hopefully I'll be able to film a Hoya video. Um, so I did film a lot today and I actually filmed that Hoya collection video. If you guys are a plenty person, you can check that out. I always have it in the link below in the description box. Um, but yeah, so I filmed that. It was chaotic. And then at the end of the day, when I was starting to film or starting to edit that video, I realized how noisy my background was and I was just panicking. Like, is this even going to go up? Like I, I thought back and forth about it. And then I remembered a lot of your guys' comments about my videos and you know how you, you guys don't mind that the kids are in the background making noises because they're only little for so long and one day I'm going to miss that. So I put it up anyway. And I just remember there is a video that I posted a long time ago on my plant channel about how this woman had said, um, you know, kids and like background noises are too distracting. Like, like is she, I mean, I don't know if she meant it to be mean or not, but I definitely took that to heart. And ever since then, like I'm really focused or hyper-focused on the fact that there's background noise or there's this and there's that. And I know I shouldn't because my videos are my videos. And if you guys don't like them, you guys don't have to watch them. And I need to remember that every time I make videos. So, yeah, sorry, that was a little rant. Um, Kalani decided to write her or try to write her name on here. And I caught her. She was using my fountain pen. And, ah, ugh, no, 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 no. Any other pen would have been fine, but... <laughs> Not the fountain pens. <laughs> All right. So Sunday, I just, huh, just joys of motherhood, right? That's what I wrote down here. I, I don't even know what this is all about. Um, oh, this must, yeah, this must have been last weekend where I, no. You know, I don't even know what week we're on anymore. <laughs> uh, definitely been feeling burnout, though, a lot lately. And this month, I think a lot of it has been very burnout feeling. But it's okay because I know there's going to be an end to that feeling and it won't last very long. So I'm just going to keep keep trudging through these waters because pretty soon they'll pass. But yeah, so... Um, I really wishing it wasn't Monday already. Today is really Mondaying. A bird landed on the road and it didn't take off until it was too late. I heard it hit my grill and then go flying. Or poor bird made me sad. I don't know if ever since I hit that deer, I think birds have just been drawn to my car. I think it's pulling like air wrong and it's not just kind of flowing over my car because I have not hit one be one bird I've hit multiple birds in this last month and I don't hit birds very often birds don't normally hit my car very often but lately they're just like I I don't know is it normal because I think 
something's wrong. And I think it had something to do with me hitting that deer. Because and I'm hitting birds left and right, and I don't like it. That, it makes me sad. That big deer, um, the one on the bro, we, we, um, we just hit it, and then um, it, it went poof off when it jumped up, and then it went um, away. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so <laughs> this is kind of how my day has been going. So, like, this one happened March 25, and I'm not kidding you guys. I hit a bird yesterday. So, yeah, that was April, too. Uh, jumping into rabbit holes. What is going on in the world? Like, it was left and right. Like, I'm, I'm like, I need to get off TikTok, you guys. Does anybody feel that same way? Like, I feel like, yes, it's very informative, and this is the only way that I find out things about what's going on with the world. But it's also, like, the worst thing for <laughs> rabbit holes, because I will jump into one, and I will just continue to dig and dig and dig and dig and dig, and then jump into another one and dig and dig and dig. Like, is it just me? Am I crazy? But yeah, so lately I've been definitely getting into my Bible more. Um, I, I've i been a, yeah, I I won't get into that. I know that's my faith and I really just pray that everybody, you know, finds their way um, and sticks to their way. So I I use this planner for my personal stuff. So if you guys, if there's anything on here that you guys don't like, you know, that's, this is, this is mine. And I shouldn't have to disclose that, but it's obvious. Um, so, uh, yeah, um, I, I got into my faith a little bit here and I started to write down things about that. Um, hoping for an early night tonight. So I also started working on editing my plant video. What did I? I filmed that on Saturday and I started on Wednesdays. Chaos, you guys. <laughs> Ah, oh, we're almost to Friday. This is Thursday. I was calling it a night early. So as you can see, I did not finish it fully. Um, and then Friday, we had another date night. Kalani had to go to Grammy's house. She was heading over there anyway because she was spending the night. Her and her cousin Anna were supposed to spend the night at uh, my mom's, but Anna ended up with pink eye, but Kalani still went over there. So Gage and I took the opportunity to go on a date night. Um, Kinsey kind of tagged along, but she's, she's little, so it's no big deal. Um, and we, yeah, we went to a, a steakhouse near us. We haven't been there yet. And it was, it was pretty good. I've tried my very first deep fried green beans and I thought that was yummy. Um, Saturday, I didn't even write a to-do list. I wasn't even feeling it. So we just kind of did it as it, as it went. Um, we had, um, went to my parents for an Easter egg hunt. The girls had their Easter party at my parents' house and overall just a good day and spent even, most of my day there. Even I got cute, cute heart gems. Yep. And then... This was Easter, so I made a little Easter pitcher sort of shoot? fun thing. Um, because we stayed up until four or five in the morning, I ended up taking a nap like early in the morning or like midday, whatever. So I did not film this weekend, and this is why I am like so behind on filming and all my videos are not, not, yeah. I was so, so tired, and I think that's kind of just my my daily lifestyle at this point that's my personality is just tired um because i am tired today uh, i had to get up at five in the morning to go to work so yeah it was just it's been a mess um but they were so cute and i had to make sure that picture got on there and yeah um yeah just your normal easter spread I think I think it's cute and this was from the marshmallow studio I thought that was really cute these were just extra stickers um I had laying around so that is going to be the end of the dailies here and that is the end of this planner at least for the month of April yeah. or March sorry so yeah this is going to be the end of this month's video or this month's flip through whatever you want to call it 
and I hope this wasn't too long. I tried to make it a little bit faster than last month's video. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one.